Minnesota and Atlanta. Minnesota, NFC Championship game last year. Mm-hmm. Atlanta, Super Bowl the year before. Mm-hmm. Why not mention those two? What's think, missing? Uh, Minnesota is still, to me, the exact same team they were last year. Even with Kirk Cousins even with Kirk instead Cousins. of Case Keenum? Even with Kirk Cousins. You look at Case Keenum's level of play last year, the reason you get rid of Case Keenum is because his larger body of work says he won't be the same guy he was I last year. I agree with that. That's why they got rid of him. Kirk, you know that steady baseline is play about around where Case was last year mm-hmm. when you have Thielen and Diggs on the outside. And so I believe you get the same type of offensive production from Kirk as you did Case Keenum, just you feel like you can get it for a more consistent and long and longevity basis. Uh, defensively, I think they're going to be great, but I still don't think they have what it takes to beat Philadelphia, to beat the L.A. Rams in, in, in a, a playoff Even with situation. Dalvin Cook coming back? Even with Dal- – you know – The advances in ACL repair have been remarkable. It used to be a death sentence Mm -hmm. for a football player. Now these guys get back a year after. But usually that next year, they aren't the same. It takes about a year of actual playing, cutting, becoming comfortable on that knee before you get back to who you were Mm -hmm. uh, before injury. So I think Dalvin's going to be about a year off from what we saw him Mm -hmm. early on in, in last year. And then when you go to Atlanta, you wonder, can they figure it out offensively? Yeah. Which which Matt Ryan do you get? Do you get MVP season Matt Ryan that led this team to the NFC Championship and a Super Bowl? Or do you get the guy from last year and the year and three years ago that turns the ball over in crucial situations? I got to admit to you, I'm getting tired of having damn questions about him. He's one of the highest paid quarterbacks, highest played players in right. football. He's been in the league for 10 years. Absolutely. Uh, enough's enough. We have a right to expect more right. from Matt Stephen Ryan. A, Stephen A., you remember coming out, Matt Ryan, the, the, the discussion was he was turnover prone. 19 turnovers his last year at Boston College. And so you were trying to figure out, does that carry over into the league or was he trying to do too much because he didn't have the weapons? We've seen him revert back to that guy way too many times. And if he continues to turn the ball over in the red zone, continues to turn the ball over in in pressure situations, this team can't win. Mm. They have an easier schedule this year. So we'll see if that allows them to kind of build a pad against the other teams in the NFC that allows them to get some type of home field advantage if making it to the playoffs. I look at New Orleans, and I say to myself, this is their year so long as they can stay away from Philadelphia for an NFC championship They're game. Scary. They don't need to go to Lincoln Financial Field. If they can get people to come to the Dome, right? they're and, going to the Super Bowl. I, I think that's the key, though, Stephen A. Do you, do you play well enough this season in the NFC South? Do you win enough games against cross-match or cross-divisional opponents to host playoff games? Because for the New Orleans Saints, that's what it's about. If you can get teams to come to New Orleans, if you can get teams to play inside the Mercedes Superdome, you can win. I don't think – you look at what they did against uh, against Minnesota, fighting yep. back the way they did, Drew Brees having a great second half. Yep. They should have won that game. Should have won that game. You hear Alvin Kamara say, if we get to the NFC Championship – we win. I don't believe they do. No. I believe the Philadelphia Eagles. They would have lost to Philadelphia. Right. I believe the Philadelphia Eagles still beat them. And so for them, it's about getting home field advantage and allowing yourself to be in the comforts of your home and the comforts of your home stadiums with that, with those fans and people behind you. Offensively, they're going to be amazing. We always know that mm-hmm. that's, the type of, that's the type of ball that Sean Payton and Drew Brees play. Michael Thomas, to me, takes the next step and ascends into mm-hmm. elite wide receiver status. Real quickly, Deshaun Watson. Mm-hmm. ACL. Mm-hmm. You talked about Dalvin Cook. I know it's a running back as opposed to a quarterback, right. but you still have that adjustment to make. How big of an adjustment? You talked about how big of an adjustment yeah. it would be for Cook. What about for Deshaun? I, th- I think it's a little bit less for Deshaun for two reasons. You mentioned one, he's a quarterback. Uh, he rushed for about 40 yards a game last mm-hmm. year, so obviously his legs are a huge part of what he does. This is the second time he's gone through it. Mm. Right? So other knees. So he's a Familiar. guy. Yeah, he's a guy who understands the limitations and, right. and what it's like to come back from it. And when we watched him play last year, it was his arm. It was his ability to get the ball down the field to guys like Fuller and DeAndre Hopkins and put them in situations to have one-on-one matchups and win 50-50 balls. Mm -hmm. And he's still going to do that. And I think his legs will get under him as the year goes along. Uh, You know, this is fantasy football marathon. and Matthew Berry was raving about what he expected Deshaun Watson to do numbers-wise, and I agree with him. The thing that scares me is when you have this gunslinger mentality, which we love in quarterbacks to take chances, can he keep the turnovers down? Speaking of gunslingers, 
That's why the Kansas City Chiefs elected to get rid of Alex Smith and mm-hmm. bring in this kid, Patrick Mahomes. Now, damn it, the guy's a puppy in the NFL, for crying out loud. He's, he's, he's a baby. He's a baby. Okay, how the hell are everybody raving about I ran into Travis Kelsey. He's raving about him. Kareem Hunt, he's raving about him. I'm like, what is this? What is this, this guy? I mean, right. he just got here. But they're talking about him this way. How big of a threat do you think Kansas City is going to be with this guy real quickly? He scares me. Uh, if you read if you read anything about training camps and, and trying to keep up with those things, he's thrown a lot of picks in practice. Yeah, and this is in a secondary uh, in, in Kansas City. This is without Marcus Peters, that's now, right. The guy who turns the ball over, and I think he does have that mentality. The reason you rave about him, Stephen A., is the same reason you and I love Aaron Rodgers so much. When the ball comes out of this guy's hands, it looks pretty. It's different, right? I hear you talk all the time about Steph Curry being. The best shooter I've ever seen that you've ever seen. Right. When it comes out of Steph's hands, it's different. Right. It's the same thing with Patrick Mahomes. Really. When, when he when he's on the run, when he's go, come, going away from pressure, even to his left, he can square his shoulders and get the ball down the field like no one else can. And when and when you can do those things, you get excited. When you can do those things, you get rid of guys like Alex Smith because you want to see what he can do to push the ball down the field and accelerate offense. For your team. So with that being said, who's the biggest threat to the New England Patriots for supremacy within the AFC? We've got Kansas City. We've got Pittsburgh. Okay, yeah, I'll, okay. Make, I'll just make sure. I, I, I'm a Steelers fan, yeah, I, even though you did. You, I'm more loyal than you. You left. That you is left not. You won a Super Bowl and left. Hey, you no, left. You know what that I means? I never left. Hey, you know what that means? We are both super loyal. <laughs> Teams ain't loyal. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, so which one you got? Pittsburgh Steelers. Okay. I'm still with the Pittsburgh Steelers if – um. If the Ben Roethlisberger I expect to show up, shows up, this team will be nearly unstoppable offensively. 